Mm -hmm. Alright, part two above the Turner Falls. We uh, kind of had to wade through muck and mire up to about our waist, so we got through that area where it was low and back onto the river we go. Um, I'll try to get a video of this on the way back through if I can. There's this shanty with a cabin uh, for moose blind and all kinds of stuff. The most elaborate setup I've seen up here so far. Uh, amazing how they got all that stuff in here. I don't know if they got it by float plane or how they got it in here, but it is the elaborate setup. Once again, I'll try to get that on uh, video or something on the way back through, but I got a few pictures of it, if not. So it'll be in the picture montage video for the trip. Still no wildlife other than geese and a couple beaver. So. Kind of surprising we haven't seen any wolves, black bear, or uh, moose yet. The uh, did see some bear and some moose and some wolf track um, at the Portage Path where we put in and take out the boat. So they're all here. Um, they're all within half mile of camp too. So just a matter of seeing them at some point. Definitely isn't a place where you should freeze to death. Looking at the side, all the conifer and all the birch. Fire makers heaven up here. There's a kid with his name Joey. He's uh, I think he's 14, 15, and uh, he made his first fire this week. I showed him the joys of birch bark, and oh my goodness, his first attempt wasn't very good before we showed him birch bark, and second attempt with birch bark, he had fire going before I had all the tinder collected. He had that birch bark going like crazy. There's another shanty for hunting blind. There's one that fell in on them. Don't know how long ago that's been, but might be the same person. Just build another one.
place, but no uh, can't be put up yet. Hunting blind, whatever you want to call it. A lot more up here than they have been in the past, apparently. Harold's been uh, one of the guys that's come and come up here for years. Um, he used to come bear hunting up here whenever he was fishing. Uh, basically, he just carry a gun with him, so he decided he'd bear hunt and everything ever saw a bear. Which would have been perfect to have that license with him this year because I saw a couple black bear. But um, he's, he's been coming up here for years, since the 70s, I guess. And uh, he said there's 10 times as many moose blinds up here nowadays as there was back then. So I guess it's becoming a non-local thing now. So a lot of people coming in just for the moose hunting as well up here. Who knows, maybe in a year or so we'll uh, do a moose hunt up here and everybody can come see. I'm still leaning more towards Maine or Alaska for that, but we'll see. One of those three places you'll see a moose on the next couple of years. Next year is definitely Colorado for an elk hunt, though. See, they're about a half mile apart, it seems like. I thought that one was abandoned for a second, but... It uh, appears to be a good one. There's still a tag on it. Speeders or whatever they are there. Isn't that illegal? Isn't that illegal? you heard them before or not but uh, this is the area where they usually see the moose back there at that feeding plot area that we saw Thank you. 